An entire forest can be planted by just planting one acorn. This acorn will produce a big giant tree that will produce millions of other acorns that will produce millions of other trees and just keep on going. So what we're doing is we're planting oak trees from acorns. This is an update to kind of show you the progress. What we're doing now is uh, we're going through and we took um, over 2,000 acorns we collected last November after the acorns fell from the oak trees. We spread them out through part of our garden. It looks like a bunch of weeds, but I'm gonna give you a close up here in a minute. Uh, we spread them out, covered them with about an inch of soil, and now we have, we believe, a couple thousand oak trees growing. So it's been seven months because as of this recording, it's June, the first part of June. We put these out in November and this is what we're getting already. Seven months later, we're having hundreds, at least more than a thousand, perhaps as many as 2,000 little baby oak trees sprouting up from acorns. Now, the reason we're potting them up now, as you can see, we also grow maple saplings um, and we have eastern red buds, we have weeping willows, we grow various trees. Most of our trees we put directly into the soil and we're gonna keep them there for three or four years until they're big enough to actually be marketable. But with the oak trees, you gotta get them in pots. Uh, once they've come up, we're a little late, but we've been having a lot of rain. <clears throat> but once they're about half this size, maybe the size of this one, you've gotta get them in pots to contain those roots because the tap, tap root on an oak tree will go straight down and if we don't do this now, by this fall, the taproot will be six feet deep and you risk killing the tree if you try to take it up at that time. So just to give you an idea of how, how well this is going, I'm gonna take the phone from my wife here now. I'm gonna point out a couple things about the weeds. We didn't weed where our oak trees are for two reasons. Number one, we started to over in this area about a month ago. And look at this, these are all baby oak trees. Um, I accidentally pulled up some, some uh, some baby oak trees when I was pulling up weeds. Secondly, this garden spot is in an area on our property that receives practically no shade. We get um, shade early in the morning and the last hour of daylight. So by leaving the weeds here, it's gonna protect these baby oak trees from the sun during the hottest time of the year, which is coming up soon. Um, the end of June, July, August, even through September. So if we don't get to the to the trees in time, they won't be burned up by the sun. But Honey, will you take this phone back? No. Um, we're gonna show them. Guys, I'm gonna dig one up to show you how simple this is and to show you the importance of why to do it. So we've got all of our pots here. If you've been following our channel, you know we just bought 2,500 uh, planting pots on Craigslist for $20, $20, for 2,500 pots. But honey, let's give them a close up down here. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going through now, we're potting them up, and I'm gonna show you how deep these tap roots are. I'm coming out and I'm going straight down. The tap roots will grow straight down. But if I go down even a spade's depth, it, for this tree that was put here as an acorn seven months ago, I pop it up, look at that. I still didn't get to the bottom. I popped up a bunch of dirt. You getting that, honey? Mm -hmm. Look how deep that is, guys. I mean, that tap root will come out and just start running and running. So then I go down another length, <clears throat> ah, and there I finally got it. Look at that. So it looks like only eight, seven or eight inches of the trees exposed above the top, but that tap root is already bigger than that. So if you're going to grow oak trees from acorns, once you see that the, the, they've come up, you need to get out here. You need to capture these roots. And of course, I'll add soil to the pot, but you just simply put it in a pot and put soil around it. And now the taproot will grow in a circular motion around the pot, and next year we'll put them into bigger pots. Now, we got this idea when we started planting a forest down there by our road frontage for some privacy. We planted over 100 trees, and I thought, oh, this is hard because we're moving them from the tree line. I said, let's go buy some to do the rest. So we went and priced trees, and we found that five feet tall oak trees, on average, sell for $100 retail. So I said, well, let's not do that because we need about another 100 trees. So we, we got a few oaks from the wood line, mostly poplar, maple, red buds, trees that you know we could get without killing because the tap roots weren't so deep. 
And then during that process, I thought, well, what if we were the ones selling those trees? And we're not like greedy. We don't have to get whatever the market will bear. If they're selling them for a hundred bucks each, what if we sold ours for 50? So that fall, which was last, well, the fall later, cause our forest is about two years old now. But last fall, I said, you know what, honey, let's go out and collect all these acorns while we're hiking. We love to hike in the fall. Let's see if this will work. And as you can see, seven months later, it's working. Um, Honey, I'm gonna take the phone back just to show them all the others. I mean, I'm gonna, it's not just here, but guys, if I come anywhere in here and I just move the, the weeds back and I'm trying not to step on, I mean, they're all, look at this, oak trees everywhere. And as we pot them up and make our way through here, we'll uh, just uncover more of these and get to them. But guys, a lot of you are probably saying, well, my gosh, five years, that's a long time from now. Well, what if you would have done this five years ago? Where would you be today? And, uh, you know, don't, don't wait to plant your trees. Plant your trees and then wait. You know, they say the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. Always remember the second best time to plant a tree is today. So get out there and do it. And this fall, when the oak leaves or when the acorns fall, get out there and collect your acorns and do what we're doing. And we'll continue to bring you more updates on planting oak trees from acorns. And if you enjoyed our video, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off the Grid, and we'll see you next time.